Certainly one of the most attractive turtles you might find here in your yard if you live near water is the eastern painted turtle. And this is a female eastern painted turtle. Uh, painted turtles get their name because of their very vivid coloration. The bottom of the turtle, as we know, is called the plastron. In this case, it's very bright yellow. You have nice yellow, and, excuse me, red and black markings along the margin of the shell or the carapace. The legs are striped in red, and the head is a little bit of yellow striping, a few yellow spots, and the back it, or the carapace here is very, very nicely uh, patterned as well. These are our semi-aquatic turtles. They spend most of their time in water, and as you can see, she's very, very streamlined, very well made for swimming through water. Very nice, big uh, web feet, excellent for swimming. Painted turtles are completely harmless. They rarely, rarely ever bite, um, so it's very safe if you see one on the road uh, to pick it up and just move it off the road in the direction that it's going. A lot of our sediment and control ponds that we have around highways today I've found out to be good homes for painted turtles as well as snapping turtles. Uh, painted turtles do come ashore occasionally to wander from pond to pond, but mainly for the females, such as this one here, to lay her eggs. Now let me show you a real cute little one here. This is a, a baby that hatched last fall. Painted turtles, as I mentioned, lay their eggs. The eggs usually are laid in sunny lawns, sunny places. And this is a little baby that hatched out last fall. Uh, that someone found in their yard this spring. This shows you how tiny they are. And as cute as they are, and as much as you're tempted to keep it as a pet, don't do it. Just take it out of harm's way and put it in a pond or a stream someplace where it can live on its life as a turtle in the wild. These turtles eat a lot of plant material. Uh, when they're small, they eat a lot of um, insects and, and, and uh, dying fish and worms and such. But as they get older, they become much more vegetarian.